What's going on there folks? Earthmaster here checking in. Uh, it is uh, 11 o'clock my time, still December 14, 2019. Uh, pretty good sized earthquake struck the Philippines a short time ago. Uh, go ahead and show you that on the Earthquake 3D globe here real quick. Just south of the Philippines Island region. Um, in the vicinity of, uh, you can see this area right here, just zooming in a little bit more. Pretty close. Uh, to the islands there 28 kilometers below the surface that earthquake struck there definitely uh, shaking things up there in the uh, Philippines region there uh, here's a little bit different map from the USGS uh, 2.5 earthquakes today and above it's showing that 6.8 earthquake there um, in the uh, in the uh, well let's zoom in on that uh, area here real quick take a little bit better view of it I guess it did strike right on the land there uh couldn't really tell from the earthquake 3d globe there but uh hold on a second here but uh this map shows a little bit better view and um hold on a second here not for sure what's this island called davo um Davao, maybe something like that. I can't really pronounce it there, but uh, anyway, on this specific island here is, uh, looks like where it struck. Haven't really seen too much in the way of large earthquakes in that part of the islands there. We have seen some a while back, but uh, it's kind of interesting there to see some uh, on land there uh, with that size. Uh, Let's see if this is going to be able to show or not, or if it's going to give me some issues. Hold on a second here. I was just about ready to go to bed, and of course it's going to give me some issues there. But uh, it looks like on the seismograph stations there, we're starting to see some uh, P waves travel across the globe. Uh, historically, looking at uh, historical information there shows um, quite a bit of earthquake activity surrounding the island. Uh, that's what I was talking about here. This is historical seismic uh, earthquakes there. But right smack dab where, where this 6.8 struck, we haven't really seen that much earthquake activity take place. So it's kind of interesting there. I've been, like I said, I've been studying earthquakes for quite some time. Of course, all around the islands, um, and of course along the Pacific Ring of Fire over here towards the east, is uh, of course a highly... Uh, high area of earthquake activity but on this specific spot where the 6.8 struck we haven't seen that much activity in the past so interesting uh, nonetheless there so uh, just want to do a quick update video on that uh, and uh, we'll go from there see exactly uh, how this progresses throughout the night if there's any type of uptick in activity um, elsewhere uh, or around the globe uh yellowstone did have a little intense spike of a of a uh earthquake swarm with the largest being a 3.2 in uh near the old faithful geyser area uh, activity has since calmed down in that region uh, a couple deep earthquakes up there just off the coast of japan and uh like i said pacific ring of fire pretty active it looks like over here towards the uh western part so We'll see how it goes um, as this night goes on. I'm heading to bed. Hope everyone has a great night out there. Stay safe, and uh, we'll chat you guys a little bit later. Peace.